Good evening. At this time, I'll call the Perry City Council regular meeting for Tuesday, July 16th, 2019 to order. We have a quorum. Item three on our agenda is the invocation and the Pledge of Allegiance. I would ask you to stand if you can with us. Uh, our invocation will be given by Councilman Robert Jones this evening. Most perfect. Heavenly Father, we thank you this evening and thank you for the opportunity to live in the city of Perry. Father, we ask that you fill this place, uh, fill our hearts with your Holy Spirit, that uh, you might lead, guide, and direct all of us in a way that we might best serve the city of Perry. We pray you glorify your name. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. I'd like to call him, Robert, I'm going to call him Mr. William Jackson for the reason that I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
the developer and owner of those properties have been looking at how they would uh, develop the property. We've seen some preliminary plans for the development around this property, uh, and because of the shape and, and size of this property, streets would need to me meander in and out uh, between the city and the county, um, causing issues with um, jurisdictional boundaries there, as well as lots that would be split by um, uh, the jurisdictional boundaries. Also, the drainage pond that's, or, or pond that's here uh, would serve uh, the drainage basin surrounding this, um, and so uh, the city would be, um, would need to, if, if it remained in the city, uh, we would be uh, maintaining a pond that um, served more, more properties than just the city. Uh, because of those uh, facts, um, we are recommending that this uh, parcel be de annexed from the city. It will become part of, uh, go back into Houston County's um, purview. Uh, county commissioners have concurred uh, with that uh, recommendation. I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Council member, any questions from Mr. Wood relative to this de annexation? No, sir. Um, and, and Mr. Uh, Casey Graham with, uh, with uh, Riot Engineering is here that can elaborate possibly. But it, uh, according to him, the um, the stormwater basins are essentially are pretty close to the existing city boundary here. So everything that is developed in the city is drained into um, ponds that are in the city that the city will maintain. Anything that's developed beyond this will, will drain to um, uh, areas outside of the city. Any other questions from Mr. Wood relative to this DNX session? <coughs> this is a public hearing. Is there anyone here that would like to speak in favor of this DNX session?
Uh, thank you, Mayor. From the work session yesterday, there are none. From your pre-council, the administration is requesting council authorize uh, the establishment of an administrative person for the Department of Leisure Services, subject to uh, the director's determination that it actually is necessary. Uh, there is funding within the budget to do that, and we recommend that you would approve that process tonight. Council members, do you have any questions relative to the proposal presented by Mr. Gilmore? Hearing none, at this time I'll entertain a motion to accept the proposal as outlined by Mr. Gilmore to add an assistant to the leisure services staff. So moved. Second. A motion is second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Those opposed, same. Please let the record know that show that Mr. Hunt voted against these recommendations. The motion will carry. Thank you. <coughs> 10B is the ordinance for the first reading and introduction. 10B1 is the first reading of an ordinance of a de-annexation of 49.43 acres of property located off of Moody Road and a portion of the Woodland subdivision. The tax map number is OP04900560000. Um, Mr. Wood, any additional comments relative to that? Yes. <coughs> Are there any questions for Mr. Wood at this time? This is the first reading of this ordinance, so there is no action required on the part of the council. Thank you. 10C is resolutions for introduction and adoption. 10C1 is the resolution to amend the City of Perry fee schedule in accordance with our 2020 budget. Mr. Gilmore. Thank you, Mr. Walker. Uh, council members, in your packet is a resolution that amends the fee schedule. The recommendations are per the budget that you adopted. You may remember that each year, as a process, we go back and adjust the revenues. Uh, I do want to point out that the stormwater fee and the fire protection fee will not have any increase uh, since there is sufficient income to take care of its needs. And we would recommend to you to adopt. Any questions of Mr. Gilmore relative to our free fee schedule for 2020? Hearing none at this time, I'll entertain a motion to accept the fee schedule as has been presented by staff. So moved. Second. A motion second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show the resolution passed unanimously. Item 10C2 is a resolution to appoint Mr. Cedric Swan as our new Director of Leisure Services, Mr. Gilmore. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. Council members, in your packet is a resolution which is required by your charter to appoint Mr. Swan. You have completed your interviews. Mr. Swan has been contacted, agreed to your conditions, and we recommend to you to approve. Thank you, Mr. Gilmore. Is there any questions relative to appointing Mr. Swan as the Director of Leisure Services? As if not, I'll entertain a motion to accept the appointment of Mr. Swan as recommended by staff. Second. Motion second. All in favor, please raise your right hand. Please let the record know the resolution passed unanimously. Thank you. Item 10D is awards of bids. 10D1 is bid number 2019-31. It's the Hill Road Drainage Improvement Project. Mr. Worthington. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, Tim, and Council. Uh, this was a bid solicitation uh, 2019-31, which was for uh, drainage improvements on Hill Road. Uh, we followed all of our usual uh, practices in contacting registered vendors. Uh, we also posted this bid on the city's website, uh, the Houston Home Journal, and the Georgia Procurement Registry. Uh, we received two responsive bids ranging from $53,153 to $55,377. Uh, it is staff's recommendation that we would award this to the low bidder, which was JCON, in the amount of $53,153.25. Thank you, Mr. Worthington. What questions do the council members have of Mr. Worthington relative to this bid? Hearing none, 
time, at this time, I'll entertain a motion that we accept the recommendation of staff on the bid for the Hill Road drainage improvements. So Second. Motion is second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Please let the record show the bid was approved unanimously. Bid 10D2, or item 10D2 is bid number 2019-32. <coughs> this is the Wingfield Way sidewalk improvements. Mr. Worthington. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mayor Pro Council, uh, Mr. Worthington, Mr. Council. Uh, as Mayor Pritton said, this was bid solicitation 2019-32, which is sidewalk improvements along Wingfield Way. Uh, we followed all of our usual practices in contacting registered vendors. Uh, we posted this bid to the House and Home Journal, uh, the City of Perry's website, and the Georgia Procurement Registry. Uh, once again, we received two responsive bids for this one, uh, ranging from $66,540 to $69,750. It would be staff's recommendation that we award this bid to the low bidder, who was LaCay Enterprises, Inc., in the amount of $66,540. So, I was really excited about the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> I was really excited just, about the sidewalk. Just, just, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> is there any questions? <laughs> 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 working good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, was gonna, I wish I could make this up more excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, I agree. <laughs> Hearing none, at this point, at this time, I will entertain a motion to approve the bid as outlined by Mr. Worthington. So moved. <laughs> Is there a second? Second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Thank you, Mr. Worthington, and please let the record show that the bid was approved unanimously. Please. Thanks. That was not the case. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you raised your hand. Excuse me. Correction, Mr. Hunt voted in opposition. And the reason is I'm not pleased with the work they have just currently finished. I'm not pleased with their work. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hunt. So okay, the bid does pass. Thank you. Item 10E is authorized an increase in the purchase order. Mr. Gilmore. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Pro Tem Council members, in your packet is a memo from me indicating that following your process, we uh, installed a series of directional signs. Uh, the direction of the overall plan is to follow the schedule, assuming funding is available. We have done that. However, it has come to my attention that the two new parking signs, which follow the criteria but did not have an okay for you to increase that purchase order, so we recommend or request that you do so uh, at this time. What questions do you have of Mr. Gilmore relative to the increase in his purchase order? Remind me of what the increase is. The increase is $22,010 on a $146,000 contract. And this is for the parking signs that have been approved and were installed but weren't incorporated in the Correct. purchase order. The downtown parking downtown. Downtown. Any other questions relative to this increase in the purchase order? Hearing none at this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve the increase in the purchase order as outlined by Mr. Gilmore. So moved. Second. Motion is second. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Everybody vote. The increase was approved unanimously. Thank you. Item 10F is appointment of a mayor pro tem. As I think most of you are aware, uh, you've seen my signs around town, I have announced that I will seek the office of mayor for the city of Cary in our special election September the 17th, 2019. Because my term in office extends for the next two and a half years, I have to step down from my position in District 3, post 1, due to state law, to qualify. And so I will be qualifying in the morning. I'm submitting my resignation at the end of this meeting today. And, and given that, we need to, or this council body needs to get a new presiding officer to serve until the new mayor is elected in September. 
So council members at this time, I would entertain anyone who would like to nominate somebody for the position of Mayor Pro Tem. I nominate the original Youngblood Reverend Louis King. <laughs> There's a motion, is there a second? Second. Any questions or comments relative to that? Hearing none, all in favor please indicate uh, accepting Mr. Willie King as the new Mayor Pro Tem uh, for until the new mayor is elected in uh, September the 17th of 2019. All in favor, please indicate by raising your right hand. Congratulations, Mr. King. Please let the record show that Mr. King was appointed unanimously to the position of Mayor Pro Tem and presiding officer. Item 11 is council member items. Ms. Fine Grace? I have none. Mr. Jones? One item there, Mr. Yes. Tim, I would like to clarify my enthusiasm earlier with the sidewalk. <laughs> I thought it was because I was leaving. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you know, it, that's, for me, that's an example of, of you know, the joy of serving on the council. A resident reached out to me from the Winfield Lake neighborhood a few um, uh, months ago and uh, really, you know, was desirous of the sidewalk in that location. And so it's exciting to get to vote to respond and make that. Why all of us enjoy uh, serving as much as we do uh, to make that difference where we can. So, uh, I'll leave that there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hunt. Uh, Mr. Jack. Yes, sir. Mr. Keene. Ms. Gilmore. No, sir. Ms. Keene. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Item 12 is department head and staff item. We'll start with Ms. King. Anything from the Department of Administration and Finance? Yes, Mr. Wood, Community Development? Yes, sir. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem, members of Council, and I sent this information to you, but I wanted to provide it for the public so that uh, they're aware. Um, you know, we just finished our fiscal year 2019 that ended uh, June 30th. Um, the Department of Community Development ended up with um, issuing 489 total residential permits that includes new single family additions, modifications, electrical, mechanical that are related to residential, and 123 total non-residential permits. Um, comparing uh, Perry to the other entities in Houston County for the fiscal year relating to new single family residential permits only, uh, the city of Perry um, continues to lead the way. Uh, we issued 369 new single-family residential permits during the fiscal year with a total valuation of just under $65.6 million. Warner Robins was at 255 permits with a value of $47.8 million. Houston County had 216 permits with a valuation of uh, just under $52.4 million. And Centerville had 54 permits with a value of just uh, just under 7.2 million. So again, uh, continuing to see the growth in the city of Perry. Mr. Wood, is that a record number for the city of Perry? Uh, I'm not sure if it's a record number for the um, fiscal year, uh, but we are certainly what we've seen uh, this first half of this year of this calendar year. We're certainly on a record pace. Yeah, record pace is right. Yes, there are more homes than we've ever built. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the information. Ms. Perkin, anything from? Yes, thank you. I um, just wanted to remind everyone that this Saturday is going to be the summer at the Splash Pad um, at Creekwood Park. That will begin at 5 p.m. with free family-friendly activities. At 7 p.m., there will be a free cookout for the first 200 attendees. And then at sunset, we're going to do a free movie on the lawn with free popcorn. So that'll be at the Creekwood Park Splash Pad. And Sounds we'll also like be celebrating the new playground <coughs> as well. A lot of fun. I'm glad the new park playground is ready for this event. So. Thank you. Mr. Worthington, anything this evening? Nothing further, sir. Ms. Myers, anything from Main Street? No, sir. Thank you. Chief Wynn? Nothing tonight, sir. Thank you. Chief <coughs> Parker? Nothing tonight, sir. Ms. Harden? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem and Council, um, I just also wanted to tie into O'Brien and with our fiscal year um, and the year numbers. Um, in the nine months I've been here, we had over a million dollars in capital investment. 
uh, with four companies. It was 41 jobs total, uh, 24 new and 17 retained. It was uh, two expansions and two new companies. And then related to that, uh, for spinoff, we had two companies with 10 jobs. So I just wanted to report those numbers to you all. Any questions? Congratulations, that's outstanding. Thank you. I think I have gotten everybody here this evening. Thank you. Item 13 is general public items. Is there anyone here who would like to address council at this time? Mayor and Council, I would like to just take a moment. I'm Angela Keating. Yes. With the Haley Group of Middle Georgia. And I just wanted to share some good news with you that at the next uh, meeting that we have, we will have applied for a special event that the Haley Group of Middle Georgia wants to present uh, utilizing our property and the surrounding streets, uh, including Main Street, uh, Jarnigan, and Ball Street. That um, I'm going to be speaking with the fire chief and uh, as well as the police chief to coordinate that event. I have turned in and submitted the application already, but due to logistics and trying to coordinate with everyone about the proposal that we have, um, it's going to take a little bit more time. But we do anticipate to start publicizing this event beginning in August, which I believe the next meeting will be August 6th. So I will have an alternative backup location that I do have arranged with. Um, uh, this event is actually a really fun community event. It's gonna be a fire truck pool. And it's a fun, friendly, competitive event, and there'll be more details coming to you in the future. But most importantly is, is that I, this has been a very successful fundraising, community-driven event that you know drives economic development, pulls on lots of different businesses from all over Houston County. We want to host it in Perry on our property, but if not, we do have a backup location working with uh, Houston County Fire Department, who has worked with me personally as the fundraising chairperson for the Houston County Special Olympics with the Houston County Board of Education. I was their fundraising chairperson for eight years, and this was an event I did for three years in a row with Chief Jimmy Williams, our late Chief Jimmy Williams. And um, now I've already spoken with Chief Stoner, and we do have an alternative location as a backup if it weren't to be um, approved by you guys in August. But we're hoping that with this preliminary uh, date of September 21st, I can go ahead and put it in your minds that you know that's what we're anticipating to do. And I truly hope that we can stand together as very proud and show the excitement that we can do to generate the attraction and what's going to be happening in the downtown area with our renovation. So I will be sending more information in the future. Thank All you. Right. Appreciate welcome. that. Is there anyone else who would like to address council at this time? <coughs> Thank you. Item 14 is Mayor Pro Tem items. Um, our next meeting of the Perry City Council will be on Monday the 5th at our work session. That work session will be held here starting at 5 o'clock. The August the 6th, we will have pre council at 5 o'clock in the meeting room upstairs, and our regularly scheduled meeting will be here on August the 6th at 6 p.m. And I do want to remind everybody our meetings are open to the public and we encourage attendance of our citizens at all of our meetings. Uh, on a personal note, I just want to say that I have thoroughly enjoyed serving with District 3 Post 1 and have really enjoyed getting to know all of the constituents in that area. I've enjoyed working with this council and and look forward to working with this council in the future. Um, we will be seeing each and every one of you on the campaign trail as uh, we're out campaigning and just remind everybody that the special election is on September the 17th, 2019 with early voting starting on Monday, August the 26th. So I will look forward to working with each and every one of you and thank you council members for all of the support that you have given me. Is that I have grown and learned a great deal in the last nine and a half years, and so I appreciate that. Is there anything else that needs to come before the council this evening? Hearing none, we will stand adjourned. Thank you.